Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Paul Fletcher. I am a certified master teacher certified by the Tao Academy. I'm happy to be connecting with you today. Today we're going to be focusing on the power of forgiveness, specifically forgiveness for financial problems. I'll do a little bit of education on the foundation of the vast majority of our financial problems and you know, how to look at it from a different perspective and then um, the nature, power and significance of forgiveness in association with our financial problems. And when we can apply this in our lives, usually more than once is necessary. It depends on how long your financial problems have been bothering you. But most of us, it's a lifelong issue. And certainly a lot of us that watch this live stream, we're already on a spiritual pathway. We're already have a trajectory that is uh, based on spiritual awareness. Uh, however, uh, a good half of the people that, that I'm familiar with, at least on this face stream, this live, uh, live stream on Facebook, they struggle financially. <clears throat> and uh, I can't say that I don't, but I can say that I used to quite a bit more in the past. And the main thing that's changed is what I'll be sharing with you today. So hopefully it will have some value to you and hopefully it will shift um, some of the uh, both internal and external uh, things that work and collude together to bring blockages into our world. You know, financial blockages obviously are never fun and never easy to work with. And sometimes it feels like um, as we dig the hole to get out, uh, water keeps filling in. And so it can be difficult at times to keep the chin up and blah, 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 right? Uh, it can be more than difficult at times. How do you rise above uh, getting hit over the head again and again? Every time you turn around, you try to keep your chin up and the bills keep coming, so to speak, or just when you get a little bit ahead something comes and tags you and so there are reasons for this there's the universal law called the universal law of cause and effect and this universal law uh, uh, works equally for everybody it doesn't uh, single you out and say I am going to ruin your life no it doesn't do that it's equally distributed amongst all souls everywhere in all universes the universal law of cause and effect and so we're going to talk about that today as well let's check in uh, see who's joined us so welcome Jen welcome Petra Marie uh, welcome also to uh, Itka welcome Bradley Aloha Tone welcome Kristen Strachan and Shelly welcome also Ranju Aloha Cora, welcome Diana Victoria, welcome Gregory. Thank you all for your presence. Truly appreciate. And please hit the share button. Let other people know about today's live stream. Welcome Beth, welcome Penelope, welcome Catherine, uh, welcome Pranja and Nikki. Welcome Nikki, welcome also to Dan. <clears throat> so uh, certain subjects tend to get a lot more visibility than others financial and financial blockages tends to get quite a bit of visibility so this this particular live stream will probably get uh, quite a few hits and that's good because a lot of people need to know a lot more about this kind of simple but exceedingly effective and practical wisdom uh, welcome uh, Martina welcome also to Samba Dan and Pranjal Aloha Soon, some of you may or may not have heard, soon I'll be moving to Belgium. Uh, I've been asked to be uh, one of the center leaders at Master Shah's Tao Center Belgium. That's going to happen around the month of July. I'll still be serving you in a, the same way as I am now. Uh, I'll just be in a different location. And um, one of the things, that, one of the reasons I bring that up is because that kind of a flourishing experience uh, comes from um, being of value and being of service. You know, I've 
uh, this week or next week, it'll be three years that Kristen Rojas and I have been on this live stream serving you. And in that three-year uh, service, heaven makes note. This, this person offered this wisdom and this guidance, and it helped this many souls. Uh, so what happens when that occurs? The Akashic records, the records of our positive information, the records of our negative information is um, affected. And in this case, it's positively affected. So it's a representative example. Uh, there's a person that's watching today that's going through a significant um, uh, slap on the face right now from a variety of directions. And, um, and they're a good person. They do a lot of good things, especially in this life experience. But it doesn't necessarily mean that our overall record of all of our lifetimes has um, been uh, expunged of the mistakes that we may have made. And so we're going to pause for a moment and set the energy field by inviting in all the beings of light now that we have a a lot of you joined us. Welcome Nelson, welcome Pamela, welcome Samba, welcome Shah John, uh, welcome also to Barbara Sheffield. Uh, thank you for joining. So we're going to stop and connect heart to heart, soul to soul first. I'm going to invite in all the beings of light and set the stage for how we can get the most out of releasing some of these uh, blockages to our finances. Okay. So you can place your hands either in prayer position or uh, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center. This is if you wish to join in in this invocation of calling forth the beings of light. We ask the divine Tao, the source, our beloved creator, the universe, by whatever name everyone wishes to acknowledge you by, the, the soul of all the beings of light, including the angels, the healing angels, the archangels, all of the masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints we love, we love and invite beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, beloved Krishna, all the beings of light. Love you, only appreciate you. Deeply, deeply respect you. And we invite you to please be present at this time uh, to bless each and every one of us to further open our hearts and recognize the wisdom uh, of the nature of cause and effect, the nature of uh, the reason why some of us have flourishing and some of us have suffering. We're very grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear the soul of the song of love, peace, and harmony, could you please come? Could you please turn on? As we chant your beautiful mantra one round, we ask that you please bless us to clear our mental emotional blockages, open our hearts, and prepare us for the wisdom, teachings, and blessings today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those that are unfamiliar, this is a mantra that is sung around the world in over 40 languages. You can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org, and Kristen Rojas usually posts uh, some specific information. You can learn more there. So thank you, Kristen. So if you're not familiar, please just close your eyes, receive the blessing. The rest of us, let us connect. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. Wo, I, tlan, man, lay. Wo, mi, rong, her, mu, shir, shong. Shong, I, ping, on, her, she. Shong, I, ping, on, her, she. That was Chinese for those that don't know, and now English. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the song sets the energy field. All the beings of light come. They start to bless us immediately. It creates the highest conditions for reversing the things that we're not wanting in our life. Right? And today's case uh, is reversing the conditions 
that cause a lack of flourishing in our life using the power and understanding of the power of forgiveness so raise your hand happy face if you think you're a good person that you do a lot of good things that you serve other people that you try to make others to be happier and healthier raise your hand let's see how many happy faces are out there my guess is lots of us raise our hands I don't think there's very many of us that don't think we're not doing a good job we're trying to do our best right and yet we still suffer <clears throat> how many people do you know are basically very unpleasant people one could say uh, unpleasant word to define them and yet they have lots of financial flourishing what's up with that right this kind of makes your brain tweak something's not right about this I'm a good and positive person I do a lot to help people and yet I still get dumped on this person over here is not a good and positive person at least from external observations and yet they seem to be flourishing financially very well what's up with that right well the solution is the understanding the law of cause and effect the law of cause and effect is not limited to one lifetime now you may be of the um, belief systems that we only have one life and that's perfectly fine I have no desire to change your perspective uh, my teacher master Shah says keep your belief no one's trying to change it and one of the things that I add to that is many of the belief systems out there do incorporate ancestral uh, understandings uh, the Christian teachings for example acknowledge that um, the sins of the father are visited upon the son this is almost exact verbiage what does that mean that means that the mistakes that our ancestors make are reflected in our world but also means the good things they do are reflected in our world uh, side note uh, one of the uh, stories that my teacher master Shah repeats often but a very worthy one in sharing with you this uh, wisdom today he said that there was a gentleman in front of him at one of his events and uh, the gentleman said you know master Shah uh, I don't know why everything is so good in my life everything everything I do everything I touch it just turns to gold it doesn't matter what business I do or what I do I just keep flourishing and I don't I'm not that smart I don't really do that much and Master Shah said, at that moment, right above this person's head, uh, a soul appeared. And, uh, the, and the person above his head said to Master Shah, it's because of me. that I'm the reason he's doing well. And so Master Shah talked to this soul. He said, well, who are you? He said, I'm his grandfather. Tell him. Tell him it's his grandfather. That's why he's doing so well. And so uh, Master Shah looked at the gentleman and he said, I believe that the reason you're doing so well is because of your grandfather and the man kind of puzzled his head and said you know it's funny you say that my grandfather is very well revered they have a statue of him in the town that he is from he did so many good things to help so many people and they honor him they have a a day every year where they just honor him put flowers on his statue and show deep respect for all that he's done for so many people isn't that interesting so the not only do the sins of the of the ancestors visit the sins of the father visit the son in, in the, the nomenclature of the Christian teachings and the Buddhist teachings they would say karma right and and the other teachings the Quran teachings they have teachings that say similar things don't know the exact verbiage but also the blessings of the father bless the son right and so you might be a great person in this life you might have also been a real jerk in a previous time you might have been a very unpleasant person in previous time and your soul knows that and you went through many many lessons and so you came in and they said you know don't make these mistakes don't screw up again you got a lot of things to fix so it could be that you could have also been a very unpleasant person but it could also be a 50 50 where part of it your ancestors part of it yours okay the law the universal law of cause and effect uh, is very um, fair I, is, is, a, is a good way to put it uh, a lot of people blame God I can tell you I have I have digits in the roof of my car not anymore I've grown a lot in the last you know 12 15 years but I have been in my car and been so irritated I just bah, pounded the roof 
And guess who I was yelling at? Of course, God, it couldn't possibly be my problem. It couldn't possibly be me that brought these unpleasant conditions into my world, right? Well, a few years later, I'm a bit wiser, and I've taken responsibility for the uh, restrictions that are present in my life. And the lack of restrictions. I take full responsibility for all the positive things in my life. Good job, Paul. Okay? But I was failing to take responsibility for the mistakes. And this is where the turnaround occurs, right? A lot of us like to point outside of us. Um, I see Michelle here. Uh, I know that she's had some financial difficulties in the past. I, there's a lot of you. I would name you names. Um, but I appreciate you coming to keep your heart open to learn more about this. How can I shift this? I can tell you that the easiest way to do it is only the hardest because A, you don't do it or you don't do it enough, and B, you don't do it with enough sincerity. And it's really, really easy. But we have not been taught this. It's called the power of forgiveness. The power of forgiveness is extraordinary but we just don't get it we don't get it because ego we don't get it because our life's too busy we don't get it because we don't have enough teaching on it if we truly understood it the way we understood for example how to make toast the way we understood how to boil water if we understood the significance of it that tea won't taste good unless you boil the water first the toast won't be toasted unless you put it in the toaster first, and your financial problems won't go away unless you are forgiven. It truly is that simple. And the problem is not this lack of understanding. You could even understand it. The problem is applying what you understand. There's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is understanding. Wisdom is application. Right? You have to apply what you learn or nothing's going to happen. You can get a college degree. You could be a PhD, but if you don't have a job that reflects that, it's because you didn't get your butt off the chair and get out there and do something about it and get yourself hired. So just because you have the knowledge doesn't mean you're going to have the end results. So I can teach you all day long about forgiveness and forgiveness practice. But unless you do something every day, you cannot possibly expect results. And it needs to be deep and effective. Okay? So let's move into that now, shall we? The typical American, please forgive me. Why do we say please forgive me, right? You get, you get an argument with them, please forgive me. No, oh, please forgive me. Why? Because you don't like it when they're mean to you. You don't like it when they're aggressive or they stop talking to you. Like my wife does, she stops talking to me. Oh, it drives me nuts. Okay? So forgiveness. But most of it is very topical, not very deep at all. In order to release the negative Shen Qi Jings in Tao science, the negative information, which negatively affects the energy and matter. Okay? Is money energy? Is money matter? Can you hold money in your hand? It's matter. Does the energy of your life affect the matter? The answer is yes. Shake your head yes. It absolutely affects the matter. So what then is the driving force that creates a negative energy in your financial world of matter? Information. Message. What is the message? The message and the information is what you are holding at the level of soul. You, uh, some people call it Akashic Records. and In science, they call it all the information of all of your uh, experience that resides at the level of soul. And so this information can be waning between positive and negative in all different areas of your life. Specifically today, we're talking about finances. If you have financial suffering, guess what? It's that simple. There is too much negative information in your life at the level of your soul, and it is causing you to have negative mindsets, okay? Your heart is closed. So the negative information hits your closed heart, goes into the negative mind, which creates negative energy, which creates a negative matter of your financial conditions. I will repeat. The negative information, either yours or your ancestors, and don't say, oh, it must be my ancestors. Well, it's not me. I'm a good person. Don't do that. 
that's denial. That's not a very smart way to look at this. Just because you don't remember the mistakes you made doesn't mean that 50% of your problems are not yours, okay? Don't go down that denial road. Be responsible. So when you move into a forgiveness, the first step is responsibility. Have to, have to, have to be responsible. That's where it begins. <clears throat> After we move into this state of responsibility, we say, okay, I recognize that I have an energy blockage. I have a matter blockage. I recognize that my heart has been closed and that I have not been in a state of awareness and acknowledgement that at the level of soul, I and my ancestors have created information blockages, matter blockages, uh, information and message blockages. What's another way of saying that? The sins of the father. This is my sins, my, my mistakes, or my karma, my mistakes, or uh, I or my ancestors have taken advantage of people financially. How about that? That's an easy one for everybody to swallow, right? Have you ever taken advantage of people financially? Have you ever kept an extra dollar here or there? Lied about money here or there? Taken advantage of people here or there? Have you ever been selfish in your life? That's just this life. That's just what you can remember. You don't get to be the good person you are accidentally. You probably went through a lot of errors and a fixing of those errors to get to be the good person you currently are. Uh, but it doesn't mean you were that same good person before. You probably fixed a lot of things in previous times to be at the stage where you're at today. And in order to get to the next higher level, you've got to do more fixing. The highest wisdom is the simplest wisdom. And it's only hard because we make it hard. Let's make it simple. Imagine all the times you have been financially harmed in this life specifically. You can write them out on a piece of paper if you want to, right? I got fired for something that I didn't do wrong. Uh, this person gossiped about me at work and now I have to deal with that. This person stole my purse or stole my wallet. Um, I was married to somebody I loved and they took the house, the car, the kids, the dog, the cat, and the stereo so I can't play my music backwards anymore. We all have our sob stories of all the different ways we have been harmed financially, right? Write them down. Get all the complaints off your heart because if they're sitting there, they're not helping you. What about your current modern day conditions? I have a nine to five job that only pays 12 or 13 or 14 dollars an hour and it sucks and it's a dead-end job and I can't seem to get out of it okay this is your own internal process but that's a that's a negative information right is that opening your heart is that helping you write it down okay whatever is not helping you to have an open heart about your finances Write it down. Do you have guilt around taking advantage of other people? Write it down. Have you lied? I had a job uh, about 10 years ago where I literally manipulated people emotionally and mentally. Not proud of it at all. Paid quite well. But it was basically a sales job and it was a mental, emotional manipulation job. I was very good at it. But I literally had to quit it walk away from a hundred thousand a year drop down to 25 thirty thousand a year it was very painful you cut your income you know by 75 percent but I knew that that was the wrong thing to do in life that it was creating bad karma do you have something like that write it down you need to put on paper every single thing that brings you negative information and negative messages whether it's personal guilt whether it's low self-esteem, whether it's mom and dad stuff, whether it's my, my kid in college is sucking me dry, right? Uh, the person at work that got me fired, whatever it is, put it on paper. Because every one of these negative informations and negative messages are zapping you from having a positive, healthy, flourishing life. 
The big way is extremely simple. Now, once you have it on paper, you get it off your chest. And just doing that for a lot of people will help you feel a little bit better. Now, you look at it. Okay, this person did that. This person did that. Da, 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 da. You're probably looking at 70% of it. You're pointing a finger at somebody else. You watch. Look at what's on your paper. A lot of what's on there, probably 50% at the very least, will be what somebody else did to you. The other 50% will be your stuff, okay? Things that happen to me, I don't know why. I can't seem to get out of my dead-end job. I don't know why. Um, uh, you know, I fell in love with this person, and they dumped all over me. I don't know why, but maybe you still love them, so you don't blame them, but you don't know why, right? So you're going to fall in this whole range of possibility. Now, how do you dissolve and literally remove all of this you do it write this down by every day ideally if you have significant financial issues ideally one hour a day do a half hour in the morning and half hour at night oh I don't have time for that okay great keep suffering your life yeah but how am I gonna find time for that well how how much do you want to change your conditions? Are you willing to get up a half hour early and go to bed a half hour later? How much do you want to change your suffering? I'm telling you the solution. Are you going to apply it? Up to you. You've written everything down. It's off your chest onto a piece of paper. And now you need to do forgiveness. But what would I do forgiveness for? I didn't do almost everything on this piece of paper. It was done to me. Here is where the universal law of cause and effect takes hold. The universal law of cause and effect says there is no accidents. There is an absolute reason why all of this suffering is in your world. Period. It's that obvious. And the minute you step into that responsibility, you can change it. So you take these things one by one. You've written them down. You might have other things that come up for you, you know. As you release stuff, as you get your aha moments, as you do your practices, you may discover or more things come. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Good. Add them to the paper. More things to work through. So when we so look at it, okay, let's say the first one is I lost my job three times in this life because people lied about me, gossiped, and they took my livelihood from me. Okay, let's say that's the first one on the list. What do you think you do forgiveness for? You call those souls that, quote, screwed you. You call those souls that manipulated the conditions and got you fired. This is just an example. You apply. You have to change your thinking, guys. You have to look at your conditions and say, what is Paul saying? What is this master teacher trying to convey to me? Don't get fixed on this one specific example. Well, that doesn't apply to me. What do I do about my problem? Use your head. I'm teaching you a pattern. The pattern is identify the specific issue and flip the shoe onto the other foot. If I have been uh, taken advantage of in this way three times in this life, what does that mean? That means that you or your ancestors could have done this exact same thing to somebody else. You might have caused people to lose their jobs. You might have gossiped about them. You might have manipulated conditions where they lost their job so that you can bring your cousin to the job, right? I tell you, this stuff happens all the time. Nepotism, right? You could have been the one doing the nepotism. Another example, what if you had a relationship and that spouse took the car, the dog, the cats, the house, everything. Right? And you just you just got totally you know washed under. There's going to be at least three or four of you watching this that'll have that condition. Oh, I hate this person. I can I possibly forgive them? Oh, that's just not it's just not right what they did. If I forgive them, that says that it's okay what they did. Change your thinking. How has that served you so far? Has it helped you to open your heart? 
Has it changed the negative information and the negative message? How does it work for you? Change your thinking. You have to open your heart. You have to change the negative message and it starts with conscious awareness of the law of cause and effect and so you say hmm maybe even though I don't remember it I was the person that screwed somebody else and I keep using that word because it's it's not it's certainly not a very you know positive word it's a word that reflects though how our anger is how our heart gets closed right Maybe I was the person that caused that other person to suffer tremendously. You know how much you suffered, right? Think about how much you suffered if that was the condition. If somebody took the car, the house, the kids, blah, 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 blah. You know how much you suffered, how years of pain. But imagine somebody else had those same years of pain and you initiated it. That is putting the shoe on the other foot. That is the wisdom I'm trying to teach everybody here. It's not the specific examples I'm giving. It's the underlying wisdom. You really need to grip it well. And as you put down on that piece of paper every single thing that everybody else has done to you that's caused harm to your finances, and you put down all your guilts and all of the different unpleasant general conditions that are in your life, you go through them one by one. And you call all of the souls in all time, this is very important, all of the souls in all time that you or your ancestors may have caused these same unpleasant conditions upon. You call all souls in all time and you ask forgiveness for whatever you and your ancestors have done. And you list these specific things. If I have put you into a dead-end job, if I was your boss and didn't allow you to rise up, if I was a, a person in a, in a control in a, in a big company and I made bad choices and as a result thousands of people lost their jobs, if I was the president of a country and I was greedy and as a result you all suffered, if I or my ancestors was landowners and we uh, borrowed you money, we, we, we loaned you money, and the first payment, we, we put you in default and took away your land. Your parents, your children, your grandchildren suffered, died of famine. Do you know that that's what your ancestors could have done? Do you know that you could have been the land baron that took people's land and their parents or children suffered from famine? Do you know? You don't know, do you? But we know that we can list all of our sufferings. We know that much. A deep and authentic forgiveness is acknowledgement. It is saying to heaven, to the universe, to the source creator, whoever you believe, it is saying, I recognize the law of cause and effect. I recognize the suffering in my life. I recognize just how much it really sucks. And I recognize that I and my ancestors are very likely responsible and I'm sick and tired of this suffering again and again and again so it must be that I have not acknowledged it it must be that I have not awakened to it it must be that my heart has been closed and I've been blaming everybody else it must be that I have been ignorant of this life wisdom this universal law and now I'm tired of being ignorant I wish to open my heart I wish to release these negative information and negative message that is causing my mind to be negative that is causing my heart to be closed that is then affecting my energy which affects the matter of my finances everything happens in an exact order information is message which affects our heart, which affects the mind and creates energetic condition in our life, which brings about the conditions of our third dimensional experience. This can be said a hundred different ways. I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible. 
now that you have a very clear understanding now you do a deep forgiveness how often do you do it every day how much a lot until when how long do I have to do it until your suffering stops then I can stop well, honestly I wouldn't stop if it's worked why would you stop if you have a round wheel and it's rolling and things are getting better and better and better why would you stop and make it a square wheel that would not be very intelligent would it I the, why do I answer these questions like this because people have asked me these very illogical questions well when do I stop how long do I do it? it's like why would you stop it's working right it is a one of the single most valuable tools that you can put into your life but we so often don't do it well I've been doing forgiveness practice for a year now and my life still sucks I'm still suffering I, I hear that too how long did you do it how many days did you do it well I did it twice last week okay how long for 10 minutes great if you do something twice for 10 minutes is that gonna make a cold go away you have to hit it hard with vitamin C you gotta give yourself you know chicken soup everything you gotta pound it to get rid of that cold you gotta pound this to get rid of those financial blockages you cannot expect half 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 and getting full results not gonna happen okay so hopefully I made this exceptionally clear all right let's do a practice everybody sit up straight back away from the back of the chair <clears throat> feet flat on the floor welcome Nirma welcome Renu welcome Natasha everybody that came in late please watch from the beginning there is priceless wisdom here that will resolve your blockages if you listen and watch okay this will become a recording at the end Placing our hands either in prayer position or in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is dropping the left hand in front of the heart center. Close your eyes. Become fully present. Really, really connect to your beloved divine creator or whoever you connect with at the level of the heart and soul that you pray to. Connect at the deepest level. Really open your heart and repeat after me if comfortable. Dear my beloved creator by whatever name choose whatever name you call them some Allah some God whatever call them that give them your greatest love I love you with all my heart I deeply 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 love honor you I bow my head to you please forgive me my lack of acknowledgement and communication with you my my getting stuck in this physical world and not connecting with you deeply on a daily basis please forgive me for not honoring that you are the one that has given me life the reason I am even here is because of you my beloved creator forgive my my ignorance and my lack of awakening and bless me to be more awakened every day to your presence in my life dear God you can plug in whatever word you want to the source dear all souls in humanity all souls in all time I invite you if I have harmed you if my ancestors have harmed you in any way shape or form that has created flourishing problems in your life or you have not had flourishing of your finances of your financial conditions if we I or my ancestors have harmed you in any way I invite you to come now to this communication from the bottom of my heart I wish to sincerely apologize my complete lack of awareness of these mistakes I deeply deeply regret my lack of awakening my lack of recognition of all the times you may have had very 
very painful suffering. I looked at my list of all of the sufferings that I have listed. And I recognize now that if others had all of these same sufferings that I have, if others have been unable to keep a job, if others have been losing their job again and again, if you have lost your income because of me and my ancestors, if you have lost your house because of me and my ancestors, if you have lost everything from mistakes that we have made, even though I don't remember it, I sincerely, deeply regret and sincerely apologize for these mistakes. Now, here's where you need to go deep. Here's where deep forgiveness occurs. You need to feel, feel at a suffering level how deep your suffering is. And you need to put that shoe on the other foot. How deep was your suffering? How deep is your suffering? Getting out of that hole that you can't seem to get out of. And you need to realize that there could be 1,000 people that are, have that exact same suffering and you caused it. There could be 1,000 people that have that exact same suffering and your ancestors caused it. And you need to recognize that this must have really, really sucked for them. Having their house taken away, having their land removed, having their children starve in front of their face, having their uh, um, lost everything they worked for so hard their whole life. How much would that suck for them? How much has it sucked for you? You have to put the shoe on the other foot. So when you do a deep forgiveness, you recognize their suffering. This opens your heart. Heaven is watching you when you do this deep forgiveness. So go deeply into this recognition. I deeply, from the deepest heart, sincerely apologize the suffering that you must have experienced, I know how much I have suffered, and it has been horrible. And if I or my ancestors have caused this suffering upon 10, 100, 1,000 people in all of our lives, I beg your forgiveness. I sincerely, deeply, deeply regret these mistakes, these very unpleasant actions. I may have stolen from you. And therefore, my purse, my wallet was stolen many times. And I may have been the one that's stolen. And you suffered. When I, if I had stolen your wallet, your purse, you cannot feed your family. You cannot pay your bills. You lose your apartment. How much you must have suffered. I am so sorry if I and my ancestors did that to you. I may have been greedy. My ancestors may have been greedy. We may have had a business and we kept cutting quarters, cutting corners. And as a result, the shoddy, poor quality equipment that we gave you broke down and caused injuries to others. And those that caused injuries lost their jobs, lost their livelihood. And if we have done that to you, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely apologize. You have to think outside the box. If to recognize that greed is not just a word. It has many forms. I could have held back money when I could have given it to others. I could have been a millionaire, a billionaire, a king, a company owner. I could have been a monarch of a kingdom. And I could have been very greedy when I could have helped the entire town of 10,000 people. But I was greedy. If I have been greedy, if my ancestors were in any of these authority positions, and we held back and, and held on to all of your money, taxed you and kept all your monies, didn't give you anything, didn't support you, didn't give you education, didn't uh, make the community thrive, but instead took money from you more and more and more. If we were in these kinds of authority positions, there is simply no excuse for our greed. I honestly... I don't remember doing any of this. Honestly, if it was me today, I would never do any of these things to you. But I recognize my life suffers tremendously. I recognize I, my life has been filled with financial blockages. And this cannot be accidental. I recognize the law of cause and effect. And I'm tired of being ignorant of it. I'm tired of being oblivious to it. 
I want to awaken and I want to sincerely from my deepest heart apologize to you God to you the source and to hundreds of thousands of people that we may have fully taken advantage of and really really harmed in such an unpleasant way I deeply and sincerely apologize these mistakes from my heart I ask your unconditional forgiveness ask from your heart I deeply regret my mistakes I ask your unconditional forgiveness I know tell them talk to their souls I know that it's hard to forgive these these very unpleasant mistakes I know it's hard to forgive us but this is many many lifetimes later I promise you I am NOT making those same mistakes now I promise you that we have learned our lessons that we are doing our best to make others happier and healthier and from this moment forward I will do my best to help others to be happier and healthier I will avoid greedy thoughts words and actions I will not gossip about others I will do my best to generate more and more good information good karma good messages and I would be deeply honored all of these hundreds of thousands of souls if you could find a way to unconditionally forgive me and my ancestors it would be the deepest honor if you could find a way to do that heaven listens to everything these souls are listening right now this is not just a practice if you are sincere I'm telling you there are hundreds and thousands of souls that are forgiving you right now and your record is being lifted negative messages information Shen Shi Jing is being removed from your record of services and you are given a chance to prove your worth right now as we're talking you're being given an opportunity will you show gratitude will you show gratitude thank you now we must do the second part of this very important deep forgiveness stay in your deep heart of forgiveness and that sheet of paper where you had all of those souls that harmed you all your mother father your brothers sisters of the co-workers everybody that's quote screwed you in this life taken from you steal from you was greedy towards you all of the conditions that have pushed you down you have to give them forgiveness you must 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 forgive them yeah but they did this they did that let it go if you do not forgive them you cannot open your heart to allow the energy of positive messages to come in how can a positive message of financial blessings come to you if you're holding on to negativity you don't know that the reason they harmed you the reason they were greedy is because you were greedy first the reason they took your house was because you took the house first you don't know that so let us offer forgiveness with this full conscious awareness dear all of the souls in all time that have brought suffering to me took my job caused me to be harmed uh, said negative things about me took me to court harmed my cars caused car accidents caused my health issues all of these that caused these financial blockages in my life all of you I no longer wish to close my heart and point the finger at you I now recognize that it's a 50% possibility maybe more that I created these conditions and you just reminded me I now recognize that I have been blaming you and pointing the finger at you and blaming you God shaking my fist at you God for my terrible financial situation when you all you did God was create a simple law of cause and effect I wish to forgive all of you and God I wish to apologize for my lack of love and gratitude to you and I wish to apologize for blaming you God please bless me to open my heart and completely and unconditionally forgive all souls that I have been blaming all this time all the souls that have ever stolen from me cheated on me lied to me harmed my finances in health harm my finances at the job harm my finances in any way I offer you fully and completely my unconditional forgiveness 
I'm not saying it's okay what you did. Heaven will take care of the karma part, but I no longer wish to keep my heart closed. I wish to open my heart to love, abundance, positive messages. I wish to open my heart to positive information and receive the positive energy so that my finances can flourish again. I forgive you all entirely and completely. Dear God, dear all of these souls, please sing the song of love, peace, and harmony with me. This is a very important part of this practice because when you sing love, peace, and harmony, it brings huge light to all of those souls that are sitting on the fence that don't really want to forgive you. They're still watching. They're like, I don't believe you. You took my house. You took my car. You took my job. My kids suffered. One of my children died. That's how souls think. You need to really ask heaven's help here dear God dear heaven all the beings of light Jesus Buddha call them all please bless these souls so that they forgive me and my ancestors and let us all sing love peace and harmony together so let's do that together and as you sing see love and light radiating from your heart and soul to hundreds to thousands of souls who have been pushing down on your flourishing they have been holding you back because you have not awakened yet bless them let us do this together. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Now you don't stop. You continue when you do this practice. I encourage all of you to save the URL of this video. Once it becomes a video in about five minutes, go back, click on the video itself, right click on the video, a URL will pop up, save it, come back to this specific forgiveness practice and repeat it again and again until you get it. Do this every day, twice a day. Promise to yourself, I will do this for 90 days, twice a day, no matter what. Get up early, go to bed late, whatever I got to do to change the financial suffering I am in. And I can't promise you, but I would say with an, about an 80 to 90% uh, efficacy, if you do this and you do it consistently, every day for 90 days twice a day it's exceedingly unlikely you will not have significant measurable shift in your life it's highly highly unlikely that you would not have significant measurable shift in your life if you make that commitment this I can say clearly is highly probable for those that want to receive a boost I recommend a Tao hands blessing or a crown chakra blessing both for the condition of releasing the blockages that keep me from doing deep forgiveness practices around my finances releasing the blockages that keep me from doing a deep forgiveness practice around my finances the Tao Hands Blessing is $50. The Crown Chakra Blessing is $100. Might sound like a lot for those with financial restrictions, 
but if you are ready to commit to doing the practice so you can shift the problems in your world then trust and spend a little bit to position yourself to receive much more the blessing does not put money in your world it releases the blockages that will allow you to bring the conditions that will shift what is causing the suffering okay so you can contact me through my Facebook Messenger or through my email a soul healer at yahoo.com uh, Kristen has posted my information thank you Kristen and then I can serve you remotely these blessings are very powerful so I recommend you take advantage of them please share please share with people that you know that can benefit from this uh, I will see you probably Sunday actually no I won't see you Sunday I have a, a task I have to do but I will see you next week Tuesday love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you gong song gong song gong song everybody came in late watched in the beginning very valuable bye bye